teaching, level four, the elective, question and answer session. This is a two-part project which consists of a five to seven minute speech and a five to seven minute question and answer session. Please think of questions while you're listening to the speech. Please welcome Marvin Clear mm -hmm. with his speech title on health. Thank you. Some may say that my life is a little bit convoluted. <laughs> At least my physical life. Why, may you ask? Well, there, uh, what I want to share with you today is some things that I do regarding health. I like to stay very physically active. For anybody that's on Facebook and follows me or we're connected, you see the posts that I make and the type of stuff that I do. There's three things plus a bonus that I'll mention today. <laughs> First, one thing that I enjoy doing, and this has been in very recent years, is play soccer. Mauricio knows this, I, we play soccer together on occasion, and play recreational soccer. And I, and one of the reasons why is because I enjoy running, and running, as you know, is ever seen soccer, it's probably a little bit harder playing soccer. And I get nice benefits from playing soccer. I got a nice grapefruit-sized ankle this <laughs> last Tuesday because I got kicked and then I fell and twisted my ankle, but that, that's all right. That, it goes away and I'll tell you a side benefit at the end why I recover quickly from these things. But I enjoy playing soccer, and I've only started playing soccer really in the past three years, as opposed to many of the other soccer players that have been playing for 20 or more years. But it's still enjoyable, even though I'm not very good. <laughs> A second thing that I enjoy doing as part of my physical fitness journey is I enjoy practicing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, for those that are not aware, it's similar to UFC but without the punching, without the striking. It's only, one way of putting it is, I actually pay someone so they can choke me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it seems amazing, yes. So what you see on TV sometimes, if you ever watch UFC or uh, mixed martial arts, if you hear, you hear a rear naked choke, so that's something where you, your the arm goes, the other person's arm goes around your neck and then they try to choke you. So, so you fall asleep. You won't die, you just fall asleep. It sounds fun. Yeah, it is. It is pretty fun, actually. It's a, it's a physical game of chess, if you can think of it. And it's enjoyable. A lot of it, it it's grappling, it's on the floor. And one of the benefits of that also is that you can go against a larger opponent, and if you have more skills, more technical skills, you can relatively easily beat them at their own you know, at their own game. Whereas I'm not a striker in the sense that I don't I don't punch, but I know how to grapple. And if it's similar, it's similar to wrestling in one sense. Wrestlers are very good at Brazilian Jiu Jitsu because they know how to handle themselves and handle other people. So that's my second thing that I enjoy doing physical fitness wise. A third thing, and I already mentioned it, and this has been a passion really for a number of years now, is running. I love to run. I was in the army as well, and I started running there, of course, I had to. <laughs> I had no choice. But I gave up running for a while after leaving the army, and then I went to, then I grew a little bit, not up, but sideways. I got to 215 pounds at one point in time. And we moved down to Panama, and for some reason, 
I decided to start running again. <laughs> and that helped me lose my excess baby fat. <laughs> <laughs> but I've continued doing that. And one of the things, and this is a topic for another speech, but I've since 2012, I've had a consecutive running streak of running every single day at least one mile. Since January 1, 2012, I've been running every single day. And that's something that I won't give up. Even with my slight injury on my foot, I'll, I'll go out and do a little, they, they won't call it a run, but it's a, okay, it's a jog, okay. A slow walk, no, no, it's a little, little bit fast walking, but I enjoy that too. And I don't see that ever stopping. I will continue that for as long as I live, as long as I'm healthy. And the fourth or the bonus regarding health, and you know, us of this type of person, we don't like to keep it to ourselves, but I am vegan. <laughs> yes. yes, I have to share that because, you know, that's what we vegans do. But I've done that just in recent years. And really, just a year and a half ago. And I've continued my physical activity since then. So what side benefit do I see from being vegan? I don't see, I don't see any difference for me, actually. But the thing is, if I don't see any difference, then that means, really, I'm not missing anything but of what I had before. I'm still 100% active all the time. I train every single day. So for me, it's a good thing. Now, I'm not going to convince you here that you need to give up your meats. That's a topic for another day. But I will leave you with this before we get into our question and answer session. Joyce Meyer mentioned the greatest gift that you can give your family and the world is a healthy you. Now, what are you doing to give that greatest gift to your family and the world? With that, let's turn over to our question and answer session. Do we have any questions out there on the floor about anything I've discussed? Yes, Judy. Why did you become a vegan? Why did you? <laughs> yes, I'll give a short, short version of that. I first came into thinking about becoming vegan after reading a book called Finding Ultra. And this was an ultra athlete that decided he wanted to try something different. He was overweight and he was tired with what he was doing and he wanted to go extreme. So he, he did ultra marathons and ultra triathlons. But he went plant-based first. And I was like, oh, okay, that's interesting. If somebody that needs so much energy can, can do this only on plants, this, this might be something he could consider. I need at least one thing that I got out of it immediately, because I didn't become vegan immediately after that, is I got a Vitamix. So if those don't know who, what a Vitamix <laughs> is, it's those very expensive blenders that last forever. But that's one of the reasons why I went vegan. And then the other thing is the China study is what made it really, uh, but that's again, a longer, much longer topic that I can discuss after. Yes? When I hear Brazilian, I'm usually not thinking of jiu-jitsu. <laughs> <laughs> but well, jiu-jitsu, isn't that um, like an Asian sport? Yes. So how did Brazil wind up with jiu-jitsu? Well, Brazil, there was, if I remember the story correctly, there, there were Brazilians or there was a Japanese person that came over from, from Japan. Japan, of course. <laughs> and Brazil adapted uh, there were Brazilians that adapted jiu-jitsu, but they didn't, they didn't want to do uh, some striking. I believe in jiu-jitsu, you, there is some striking, and it's mostly stand-up, whereas Brazilian jiu-jitsu, a lot of it is on the ground. So they adapted it, and, and they, because there is an existing jiu-jitsu in Japan, so. And it's similar, but it's different. Yes, Lynn. Is your entire family vegan? I haven't converted everyone yet. <laughs> right now, 
my my wife and I a hundred percent. My daughter, my oldest daughter, just became uh, vegan. Her her anniversary is February first, and then my youngest daughter, she's vegetarian ish. I don't the only, the only thing is we don't buy any meat at all, so they have to be vegan at home. Now if we go outside. If we go, for example, Chipotle and uh, Tijuana Flats, I'll let them get cheese and sour cream, but this is either either dairy or meat, and they'll choose dairy because they like their cheese and sour cream. And my son, he's anti-vegan. He says, I don't want to eat that plastic stuff. He's like, as long as you're home, if you buy your stuff, then you you buy whatever. If we're at home, you're going to eat what we have. If not, don't eat. Yes. What did you do in the army? I was uh, 75 Bravo, which is, I was personal administration. So I worked like human resources in the army. And I did that from the very beginning until I left the, the army. So, yeah. 75 Bravo and then 71 Legion. Yes, Marvin. So Marvin, if you do half hour of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or compare to a half hour of soccer and half hour running, where do you burn more calories? Hmm. Where do I burn more calories? It's, well, it's a good question hours. because it depends on the intensity of how how I exert myself. Because I can be at soccer and I'm just okay hanging out in the in the goal or in defense and just okay waiting for the ball to get to me. Or I can be very active and run after the ball, which is something that I like to do. I like to run. I'll run after everybody. And or Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you could be just training and listening and practicing a technique, or you can be going all out, and that's very tiring. I'll, my wife can attest that you know, after 10 minutes of Jiu Jitsu, I'm you know, very sweaty and stinky, so I <laughs> send me directly to the bathroom. And then running, again, if I'm going in an intense workout, then I, so it really depends on your level of exertion. How much you calories you burn? Yeah. Yes. The, I heard the topic was something to do with affecting protein. Why do you choose this layout of talking about health and nutrition? How does this fit into protein? That's a good question. I didn't think of that before. <laughs> <laughs> but now, and this is practice in terms of sleeping as well. But now that I think about it, one of the things, the reason why I want to become a coach is to help improve others' lives. And one of the things to help you improve is you have a health aspect of, of life. If you're, if you're not healthy, you're not able to fully appreciate, fully take advantage of your entire life, be su completely successful in your life. I think because health is mental and physical. And I believe I, with the things that I'm doing, it helps my mental health as well as my physical health. That's, you know, put me on the spot. I think that's a good idea. And thank you for asking that question. Let me think. Just yes. talk about accelerated healing of your ankle or something. Good, good. And how about oh, what's your weight? Thank you. I forgot to mention that during the speech. There's one extra bonus that I didn't mention is that I also run barefoot. And one of the things that benefits me from running barefoot is that it strengthens my feet and my ankles and just all my lower body because you're using different muscles when you're barefoot. And I've been doing this for a long time. I don't recommend it for anyone really. I'm one of those convoluted persons like I mentioned before. Very weird. But it I am I have different muscles or more more muscle growth in on my feet that allows me to recover quicker with regards to ankle injuries, for example. I'll, I'll twist my ankle on the soccer field and really, when I see somebody else do the same thing, they, they're hurt on the ground. Um, I'll just you know get back up and recover. It just happened that this particular occasion, it was a double whammy. I got hit hard by a ball and then I actually fell and twisted my ankle. Mm -hmm. That's because you're going barefoot? Yeah, and because it, my ankle is stronger than I think the average person. At least that's my 
my un uneducated non-medical opinion. <laughs> With that, I am out of time. So thank you very much for listening and for all the very interesting <laughs>